what is going on guys it's suck and i am back with a brand new video on super duper tech and in today's video i'll be breaking down all of the results that i got when running the htc u ultra for a number of different benchmarking tests so without any further ado let's hit the tiles So then in typical fashion as I do with all of my benchmarking videos I have compiled all of the results into a table and as you guys can see the first test application that I did run was Geekbench 4 and Geekbench runs a number of different algorithms to test out how well a particular device's hardware and software perform. Now for the single core side of things I did get a result of 1669 and on the multi core side I did get 4161. Now once again using Geekbench 4 I did run an OpenGL performance test to test how well the HTC U Ultra can render out graphics and with this I did get a score of 6581. The next application that I did run was GFXbench OpenGL. Now very much like the OpenGL test performed using Geekbench 4, GFXbench tests out how well a particular device can render out a number of different scenes once again using OpenGL. Now as GFXbench renders out a number of higher and lower level graphical intensive scenes and gives an FPS reader on each particular scene, in the interest of saving both time and space on the table, I've calculated the average for both the higher and the lower level scenes. Now the results that I got for the higher level graphical intensive scenes that were rendered was 30.33 frames per second. Whereas for the lower graphical intensive scenes, I did calculate an average of around 38.83 frames per second. Now by all means, if you guys do want to double check my math and calculate the averages for yourself, then of course you can pause the video at any point here and calculate the averages. Now the next benchmarking application that I did run was from 3D Mark and it was called Slingshot. And as you can see by the results in the table, I did get a score of 2,330. Now the next benchmarking application that I did run was the Antutu benchmark test. Now this tests out a number of different aspects on the smartphone from the RAM to the CPU as well as the GPU performance. And as the results in the table show, I did get a readout of around 142,182. And finally, the last benchmarking application that I did run was once again from Antutu, this time their 3D benchmarking tool. And as the results in the table show, for the 3D marooned test, I did get an FPS readout of around 26.69. Whereas for 3D garden, I did get an FPS readout of 35.19. So then guys, that has been it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new around here, then why not subscribe? If you have got any questions as to what you have seen in today's video, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. And if you do want to see what video I am working on next, then be sure to add me and follow me on my social media. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.